Hi! In this video I'm going to show you the translucency features of the Standard Plus shader. I have here the demo scene 2 with this little statue of the goddess Athena. And let's create the material for this. Right click, create material. Let's call it translucent. OK. Now, by default, Unity assigns the standard shader to a new material. So let's click here on the drop down list, here at the standard plus, and let's choose the first one, the standard plus. The difference between these two is just the PBR workflow. This first one uses the metallic workflow, and the second one uses the specular workflow. So let's go with the first one. As I said on the custom light maps video, everything here is like the standard shader, except for this part here at the bottom. So you see the custom light map section, and here you see the translucency part. So let's click the translucency button. OK. Now if you look the object against a light, a unity light, a directional point light, a spot, spotlight, you can already see the translucency effect. So the first parameter here I want to talk about is this color picker here, which essentially is the inside color of the object, which is different from the albedo color up here. Okay, This dictates the color of the surface of the object, and this one is the color after the light has entered, and got diffused, and went out uh, from the other side of the object. And at the side of it, you can see a thickness map, which is very similar to the thickness map used with the standard plus glass shader. The difference is this is an inverted thickness map. So what you have to do is, after you calculate your thickness map in your 3D software or in Substance Painter, for instance, you go to Photoshop or another image editing program and you just invert it. Now you have a map that represents the thicker parts of the object as dark and the thin parts of the object as brighter. So now, as you can see, the thickness map tells the shader where you can have more light passing through, where you have a thicker part and the light can't go quite through it, you see? So, and of course you can adjust these values here at the levels pretty much like Photoshop levels. You can adjust the ins, the outs of the dark and uh, brighter values of the thickness map, as well as the, the middle gamma here. So you can adjust pretty much as you want. OK. Now, an important thing about the thickness map is that you don't have to put only a grayscale image. You can plug in a full RGB texture. So you can represent some sort of subsurface detail. I made this alteration here with this uh, marble detail. Let me plug it in. Now you can see, whenever you get the translucency, you, you can see the details beneath the surface. But bear in mind, this is not a subsurface scattering shader. This is not a skin shader. It is just a, a basic translucency one. But even being simple, you can still get a sense of uh, subsurface lighting here. Now let's talk about the other parameters. We have here the distortion parameter. It takes into account the normals of the object. If we set this to zero, you can see we have kind of a flat object. The light goes exactly through uniformly. We almost can't see the details of her face and her body. So let's increase it. Now you can see much more. It's, it's like almost like a Fresnel effect at the edges. And we have a much better sense of translucency and of a solid object. The power slider here controls uh, some sort of a light focus. Let me turn down a little bit the distortion so you can see the effect. Now, when I increase the power, you see the light gets more focused on the source of it. The light is there. It's a directional light and is being more focused on the source. So these are all artistic parameters. Uh, these are made to so you can tweak your translucency effect however you like. 
So there's no matter of right or wrong with this. You just have to set it uh, however you like to achieve the desired artistic effect. Okay. The scale parameter controls how much light penetrates the surface. It's almost like uh, if you set the intensity of the light to a higher value. The ambient parameter is some sort of a uniform lighting. You can use it to brighten up a little bit the darker regions. It has nothing to do with the with Unity's ambient color or the skybox ambient lighting. Okay, it just grabs uh, the inside color here and applies it uniformly onto your object. Now, last thing, I want to talk about the drawbacks of this translucency shader. This is a forward rendering translucency shader, so it does not work with the deferred uh, rendering path. Maybe on a future update I'll make it work with the deferred path, but for now only the forward rendering. Another thing is that when you use a light that casts shadows, you have to click here on the object and set the object to not receive shadows because when this is on the object will cast a shadow on itself here at the back you see so you have to turn this off for now so that's it those were the things i wanted to show you about the translucency shader and have fun with the standard plus shader thank you